Welcome to the Universal Geography Quiz. Anyone can take this quiz no matter where you come from, everyone has an equal chance. You can also do the quiz as a small competition with a few friends, colleagues or schoolmates. If you like, you can also film yourself, perhaps as a challenge, or simply enter your score in the comments. No solutions, please. That would be boring. So, let's get ready. We need a sheet of paper in letter size or DNA4, whether line, squared or blank, it doesn't matter, and a pencil, ball pen, pen. Everyone ready? Good. If it goes too fast, just stop the video. I'll leave some time to answer, but maybe you need more time. Number one. How many continents are there? Please enter a number. As a hint, there are less than 10. Number two. How many oceans are there? Again, there are fewer than 10. Number three. Name the continents. Maybe stop here. Number four. Name the oceans. Good, that should go a bit faster. Ready? Now let's move on to the Olympic flag. This flag has five rings. These rings represent five continental regions that have been inhabited by millions of people for thousands of years. All further questions refer to these five regions. So name them for each of these five regions. Number five, an island state. So please write down an island state for each region. Yes, I can think of one for this region. A few more in my region. <laughs> the others have lots. Pause again. Otherwise, I'll keep asking. Number six. Three more countries and their capitals. I'm going to take a break now. I'm going to get some tea. Ready? Let's continue. The highest mountain. Yes, everyone knows the one, probably in their own region too, but then, yes, it's not easy. There are only five names. I'll wait. So, ready? Number eight, the longest river. Yes, that was mean, I know. Now let's go to the rating. We take number one and number three together. If you want to know exactly, you should watch the video by Mapman. Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia and America are five plus Antarctica. That makes six. If you separate North and South America, there are seven. However, if you say that Europe and Asia belong together, there are only five or six. And if you also add Africa according to Mapman's logic, there would be four or five. You get ten points for one of these answers. If you forgot Antarctica, you get two points less and deduct one point for each wrong continent, perhaps Atlantis, Greenland or Russia, but there's no less than zero. We have three oceans, the Atlantic, the Pacific and the Indian Ocean, or five oceans with the Southern or Antarctic Ocean and the Arctic Ocean, or some calculate four. 
Again, 10 points are awarded if the number of the three to five names are correct. And every mistake is worth one minus point. For the other questions, you can see for yourself whether your answer is correct, although there can be different options and opinions about the mountains. This is about the continents Africa, America, Australia, Asia and Europe. In Asia, the answer is Mount Everest, 8,849 meters. In America, it's Cerro Anconcuago, 6,961 meters. Denali, 6,190 meters, is only the highest mountain in North America, but not in the whole of America. So it's not correct. In Africa, it is the Kibu, 5,885 meters. The Mount Massive is called Kilimanjaro, but not this peak. It would be the same as saying the Himalaya would be the highest mountain and not the Mount Everest. In Europe, it might be the Elbrus, 5,642 meters in Russia, not the Mont Blanc, 4,810 meters, at least depending on how you measure the border between Europe and Asia. I would accept both, as the border between the continent is not entirely clear. Depending on this, the Elbrus would not be in Europe, but in Asia. Australia and Oceania don't make it easy for us either. Punchak Yaya on New Guinea, 4,884 meters, lies on the Australian plate, but belongs to Indonesia and is therefore sometimes counted as part of Asia. The Mount Kosciusko, 2,228 meters in Australia, would be the highest mountain. Here too, I would accept both. The rivers are the Nile, 6,650 kilometers in Africa. The Amazon River, 6,575 kilometers in America. The Yangtze Kiang, 6,300 kilometers in Asia. The Volga, 3,530 kilometers in Europe. And the Murray River, 2,508 kilometers in Australia. Two points are awarded for each of the island states, but not for no or incorrect answers. There are also two points for countries with a capital city, but only one point if only the country is correct, but the capital city is missing or incorrect. Two points are awarded for each correct mountain, important, the highest mountain on the continent, and also two points for each correct mountain. River. That makes 80 points if everything was correct. Don't cheat. I hope you enjoyed the quiz. Thank you for your attention and stay curious.